Chapter 1, The Arrival Lily had always dreamed of a fresh start, and when she stumbled upon the small town of Hollow, she knew she had found the perfect place to begin her new life. The town was nestled in the heart of the countryside, surrounded by lush forests and rolling hills. As she drove through the winding roads that led to the town, she felt a sense of peace wash over her. When Lily arrived in Hollow, she was greeted by friendly locals who welcomed her with open arms. The town had a quaint charm, with its rustic buildings and warm atmosphere. As she settled into her new home, she felt a sense of belonging she had never felt before. But something felt off. As the sun set and darkness crept over the town, Lily started to hear strange noises coming from the woods that surrounded her house. She brushed it off as her imagination playing tricks on her, but as the nights passed, the noises grew louder and more frequent. One night, as she was getting ready for bed, Lily heard a whisper in her ear. She turned around, but no one was there. She brushed it off as a trick of the wind, but the whispering continued night after night. As the days went by, Lily started to feel isolated from the townsfolk. They seemed to be keeping secrets from her, and she couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. Despite the unsettling occurrences, Lily was determined to make a life for herself in Hollow. But as she delved deeper into the town's history, she realized that the shadows that haunted her were not just her imagination. Something sinister was brewing in the town of Hollow, and Lily was in the middle of it all. Chapter 2 The Unexplainable Lily tried to convince herself that the strange occurrences in Hollow were just coincidences, but as the unexplainable events continued, she couldn't deny that something was wrong. One night, Lily was awakened by the sound of footsteps in her home. She grabbed a baseball bat and crept down the stairs, heart pounding in her chest. When she got to the living room, she found all of her belongings had been moved, as if someone had been searching for something. But when she checked the windows and doors, they were all locked from the inside. Lily started to become increasingly isolated from the townsfolk. They seemed to avoid her at all costs, and when she tried to ask them about the strange occurrences, they would just give her a blank stare and change the subject. However, one person seemed to take an interest in Lily's plight. Ethan, a mysterious man who kept to himself, started to show up more frequently. He would offer Lily cryptic warnings about the town and the people in it, telling her to be careful and stay away from certain areas. As Lily grew more and more isolated, she started to wonder if she had made a mistake moving to Hollow. But as she looked into the town's history, she realized that there was a reason the people of Hollow were so guarded. A dark history was lurking just beneath the surface, and it seemed that the shadows that haunted her were connected to it all. Lily knew she had to uncover the truth about Hollow, but she couldn't do it alone. She reached out to Ethan, hoping he would be able to shed some light on the darkness that consumed the town. But as they delved deeper into the mystery, they realized that the truth was more terrifying than they could have ever imagined. Chapter 3 The History of Hollow Lily and Ethan dug deep into the history of Hollow, trying to unravel the mystery that had taken over the town. They soon discovered that Hollow had a dark and twisted past, filled with tales of murder, corruption, and occult practices. They found out that the town had once been home to a powerful cult that had practiced dark rituals in the forest surrounding the town. The cult had been led by a charismatic leader who claimed to have supernatural powers. They had been responsible for a string of disappearances in the area, and their influence had spread far beyond the town's borders. As Lily and Ethan delved deeper into the town's history, they realized that the cult had never truly gone away. They had simply gone underground, and their influence was still felt in the town to this day. Lily and Ethan discovered that the cult had been responsible for the unexplainable occurrences that had been happening to Lily since she arrived in Hollow. They had been watching her, waiting for the right moment to strike. Lily and Ethan knew that they had to act fast if they were going to stop the cult from carrying out their plans. They decided to take their findings to the authorities, but they soon realized that the cult had infiltrated every level of society in Hollow. 
Desperate and alone, Lily and Ethan knew that they were the only ones who could stop the cult. They set out to uncover the truth about the cult's leader, hoping that it would lead them to the heart of their operation. But as they got closer to the truth, they realized that the cult's power was greater than they ever could have imagined. They were in over their heads, and they didn't know if they were going to make it out of Hollow alive. Chapter 4, The Shadows As Lily and Ethan continued their investigation into the cult that had taken over the town of Hollow, they found themselves facing the darkest and most dangerous forces they had ever encountered. The shadows that had haunted Lily since her arrival in the town seemed to be growing stronger and more menacing with each passing day. Lily and Ethan knew that they had to face their fears and confront the shadows head-on if they were going to have any chance of stopping the cult. They ventured deep into the forest, the same forest where the cult had once practiced their dark rituals. As they made their way through the woods, they could feel the shadows closing in around them, suffocating them with their darkness. Suddenly, they came upon an old cabin deep in the woods. It was the same cabin where the cult had once held their rituals, and it was clear that it was still in use. As they approached the cabin, they could hear chanting coming from inside. Lily and Ethan knew that they had to act fast if they were going to stop the cult from carrying out their plans. They burst into the cabin, confronting the cult members in the middle of their ritual. They fought fiercely, but the cult's power was too great. As the battle raged on, the shadows that had haunted Lily since her arrival in Hollow suddenly started to take on a physical form. They coalesced into a dark, swirling mass that enveloped the cabin, pulling Lily and Ethan into its grasp. In the darkness, they could hear the cult's leader chanting in a language they didn't understand. The shadows seemed to be feeding off the power of the ritual, growing stronger and more menacing by the second. Lily and Ethan knew that they had to break the hold of the cult's leader if they were going to have any chance of defeating the shadows. They chanted back, using the same words and phrases that the cult was using against them. Slowly but surely, the shadows started to retreat, their power weakening as Lily and Ethan chanted louder and louder. Finally, the shadows dissipated completely, leaving behind only the defeated cult members and the two heroes who had saved the town of Hollow from their grasp. Chapter 5, The Ritual As Lily and Ethan emerged from the shadows, victorious over the cult that had taken over the town of Hollow, they knew that their work wasn't done yet. They had to make sure that the cult would never be able to rise again, and that meant putting an end to their most powerful weapon, the ritual that had given them their supernatural powers. They knew that the cult's leader had fled into the forest, seeking to regroup and continue their work. Lily and Ethan set out after him, determined to put an end to the ritual once and for all. They chased him deep into the forest, following a trail of clues that led them to an ancient stone circle deep in the woods. The circle was surrounded by tall trees, their branches reaching up toward the sky as if trying to block out the light. As Lily and Ethan approached the circle, they could feel the energy in the air, crackling with dark power. They could hear the cult's leader chanting in the center of the circle, surrounded by his most loyal followers. Lily and Ethan knew that they had to act fast if they were going to stop the ritual from taking place. They charged towards the circle, hoping to disrupt the cult's leader and break the spell that was holding him in thrall. As they entered the circle, they were immediately surrounded by a wall of energy. The cult's leader turned towards them, his eyes glowing with an unearthly light. He started to chant even louder, his power growing with each passing moment. Lily and Ethan knew that they were in over their heads. They could feel the power of the ritual pulling them under, threatening to consume them completely. But then, something strange started to happen. The energy in the circle began to shift, and the cult's leader started to lose his hold over his followers. They looked around in confusion, unsure of what was happening. Lily and Ethan realized that they had disrupted the ritual, breaking the hold of the cult's leader and freeing the town of Hollow from his grasp. They breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that they had saved the town from certain doom. As they made their way back to town, Lily and Ethan knew that the shadows in the Hollow had finally been lifted. 
The town could finally start to heal, and Lily and Ethan could finally move on from their dark and twisted journey. Chapter 6, The Showdown As Lily and Ethan returned to Hollow after putting an end to the cult's supernatural powers, they knew that they still had one final task to complete confronting the cult's leader once and for all. They had tracked him to an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of town, and they knew that this was where the final showdown would take place. As they entered the warehouse, they could feel the tension in the air. The cult's leader was waiting for them, his eyes glowing with an unnatural light. He was flanked by his most loyal followers, all of them ready to do whatever it took to protect their leader. Lily and Ethan knew that they were outnumbered and outgunned, but they also knew that they couldn't back down now. They had come too far, fought too hard, to let the cult's leader get away with what he had done to the town of Hollow. The cult's leader spoke, his voice laced with malice and arrogance. He taunted Lily and Ethan, telling them that they would never be able to defeat him and his followers. But Lily and Ethan were determined. They charged toward the cult's leader, their weapons at the ready. A fierce battle broke out, the warehouse shaking with the force of their blows. The cult's followers were no match for Lily and Ethan's strength and skill, but the cult's leader was another matter entirely. He fought with a ferocity and power that seemed to come from beyond this world. But Lily and Ethan had a secret weapon, the power of the town of Hollow itself. As they fought, they could feel the energy of the town flowing through them, giving them strength and resilience. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity of battle, the cult's leader was defeated. He fell to the ground, his power draining away from him. Lily and Ethan breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that they had finally put an end to the cult and its reign of terror. They looked around at the warehouse, the walls still shaking from the force of their battle. As they walked out of the warehouse, they knew that the town of Hollow would never be the same again. But they also knew that they had done what they could to protect the town, and that they would always be remembered as its heroes. Chapter 7, The Aftermath As the dust settled after the final showdown with the cult's leader, Lily and Ethan looked around at the town of Hollow, trying to take in the extent of the damage that had been wrought. The town was in shambles, its buildings and streets torn apart by the cult's supernatural powers. But there was also a sense of hope in the air, the feeling that the town could rebuild, that it could heal from the wounds that had been inflicted upon it. Lily and Ethan knew that they had played a crucial role in the town's survival. They had risked their lives to take down the cult and its leader, and they had succeeded against all odds. As they walked through the town, they could feel the gratitude of the townspeople. They were greeted with cheers and applause wherever they went, hailed as the heroes who had saved the town from certain doom. But Lily and Ethan knew that their work was far from over. The town still had a long road ahead of it as it worked to rebuild and recover from the devastation that had been wrought. They spent weeks in Hollow, helping to rebuild homes and businesses, and working with the townspeople to restore the town to its former glory. They knew that it wouldn't be easy, but they were determined to see it through. As they prepared to leave Hollow, they knew that they would always hold a special place in their hearts for the town and its people. They had faced unimaginable horrors and emerged victorious, and they knew that they would never forget the experience. As they walked out of town, they looked back one last time, knowing that the town of Hollow would always hold a special place in their hearts. And they knew that no matter where they went in life, they would always be remembered as the heroes who had saved the town from the shadows in the Hollow. Dear listeners, I would like to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude for your continued support of our Digital Tales for Kids channel. We are thrilled to have the opportunity to share our love of storytelling with you and your little ones. We understand the importance of creating a fun and engaging environment that fosters learning and development for children, and we strive to achieve this with every story we produce. From the creative storytelling to the digital sound effects, we put a great deal of effort into making each tale come to life in a unique and exciting way. As we continue to create new stories and content, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our latest offerings. 
We are excited to take you and your children on new adventures, introduce you to new characters, and help foster a lifelong love of storytelling. Thank you for being a part of our Digital Tales for Kids community. We appreciate your support, and we look forward to sharing many more stories with you in the future.